Thank you. I want to watch the news. Are you making are you making headway at least? This is the news. Smack 'em a gob, it's time for the only news that matters. And D. Snyder recently appeared as a guest on Vintage Rock Pod and revealed that he thinks Twisted Sister was an inspiration for Motley Crue and Van Halen. After talking about how they came up with the ideas for the music videos for We're Not Gonna Take It and I Wanna Rock and its impact on the industry, the singer explained. Yet, it went on to become a huge phenomenon that other bands like Van Halen, Motley Crue, everybody started imitating the Twisted Sister style of storytelling a little mini passion video, play video. Uh, elsewhere during the interview, he reflects on how they worked on We're Not Gonna Take It and the I Wanna Rock videos. He said, Marty Kaldner came up and he was cool enough and smart enough to see a young man who was passionate and he said, what do we see in this video? I told him, dads yelling at their son, the son turns into me and drags the father down the stairs. And he said, hold it, pull it. Let's all write this down. He and I constructed the We're Not Gonna Take It video and the I Wanna Rock video, which went on to become this historic uh, pair of videos. The front man also opened up about a certain process behind Stay Hungry, noting, I mean, Stay Hungry album, our biggest selling album, I wrote in 45 minutes. Essentially wrote the entire record. My son was asleep in the crib. My wife went out to go get groceries. And I said, okay, I got a few minutes. Let me turn on the faucet. I look at it now like that. The songs we're not going to take it at Wanna Rock had their music videos frequently played on MTV. These videos featured a lot of humor, which was different from what most bands were doing at the time and made Twisted Sister stand out. They even made a fictional video for their song Burning Hell in the movie Pee Wee's Big Adventure, which added to their comedic image. All right, uh, you know, I believe that smoking in the boys room from Motley Cruz is pretty much I want to rock. It's kind of in the same thing with the teacher, Niedermeyer, and then, you know, that guy from uh, the horror movies, Last House of the Left and stuff. But anyway, um, yeah, that I can see. Now, Hot for Teacher, that's a stretch, you know, because Hot for Teacher, the, you know, the teachers turn into strippers. It's totally different. The fact that it was done in a school really doesn't matter because, as I recall, before Twisted Sister videos, the Boomtown Rats made a video in a school. I think it was I Don't Like Mondays, or maybe it was a different song. But I know the Boomtown Rats early, pre-MTV. And I'm sure there's a hundred other videos that were done in a school. But no, I can't equate Twisted Sister influencing uh, Van Halen. Van Halen was already a fun party band way before Twisted Sister even had a record deal. I love Dee Snyder, man. I would love to interview him, but at the same time, man, the more the years go by, the more he talks gibberish. He really does talk a lot of crap. And, all right, I can see the Motley Crue thing, but Van Halen, you influenced Van Halen in music videos? Oh, I think not. Even uh, way back, the real rare video of um, uh, Out of Control, Loss of Control, it's kind of a jokey video, and, you know, and Dave's acting all jokey, and so this can be love, that recent video that came out where they're playing next to a dinosaur. You know, it's like, if anything, Van Halen influenced the Twisted Sister videos. Look, we want to be a fun band like Van Halen. So let's do these goofy little, you know, 
It's like Looney Tunes. It's like Wile E. Coyote and uh, the Roadrunner, you know? And that's not how Van Halen's video was. Now, smoking in the boys' room, that's total twit sister. That's all slapsticky type things. And, you know, it's, it's a horrible video, <laughs> looking back on it now. Even though Motley Crue was uh, very, very responsible and influenced every other band out of look, except for Twisted Sister, I will say that, because Twisted Sister were kind of different than all the, like, hair party bands, because they, they wore exaggerated makeup to make them look like ugly transvestites. So you can't really turn into Motley Crue Theater of Pain when you already look like that, you know? So, But every other band got all glittery and, you know, they just followed what Motley Crue did. And even bands like uh, Judas Priest added colors to their, to their leather and, you know, and Ozzy with Ultimate Sin, you know, this gla gl glam Ozzy, glossy. Uh, and that had everything to do with, you know, Motley Crue. Because they were really spearheading the whole thing. It wasn't until, like, Dr. Feelgood that nobody was copying what they were doing because by that time uh, Guns N' Roses came out in 87 and totally eclipsed everything Motley Crue did. Guns N' Roses pretty much destroyed Motley Crue even though Dr. Feelgood sold millions it was still in the shadow of Guns N' Roses and oddly enough when I saw the Girls 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 tour Guns N' Roses opened that show and Axel came out at the end and sang uh, Joe House Rock with uh, with Motley Crue. And I have a picture. I have this, there used to be this local magazine, free magazine called Rag Magazine. And I still have that Rag Magazine somewhere where I have a picture with Axel and Vince singing Joe House Rock where, you know, several years later, they Axel challenged him to a fight. Vince accepted and then Axel did not accept after that. Just like uh, Bob Guccione accepted his fight as well. And then Axel kept his mouth shut. But anyway, D. Snyder, you know what? No matter what he says, I'm always going to be an SMF for life. Because honestly, I love, love, love. Well, I got to, you know, make it clear that I love Twisted Sister up to stay hungry. Yes. Come on, play. I love The Fire Still Burns. I love the title track. I love Kill or Be Killed. And I love nothing else off that album. And then Love is for Suckers was even worse, which was really a D. Snyder solo album. But still, the stuff on Under the Blade, You Can't Stop Rock and Roll, Still Hungry, and especially Live at the Marquee and Live at Hammersmith Odeon, those are my two favorite Twisted Sister albums. I mean, it's kind of like you know, Judas Priest Unleashed in the East, you know, you like it more. Well, I like it more than the studio versions. That's how I feel about those live albums. It's ruthless, it's heavy, it's pissed. And D has to be one of the greatest front men with David Lee Roth and Phil Anselmo. Not Paul Stanley of Kiff. It's one of the worst. I put D, D Snyder way above Paul Stanley any day. Because Dean Snyder is real. He goes up there and he talks how he feels. It's not scripted like what Paul Stanley does. And uh, it's real, man. Paul Stanley's so phony. But anyway, I am an SMF for life, but Dean Snyder talks a lot of gibberish. Uh, he's getting a little senile and crazy in his age. But I do want to read his book. He, he put out a, a, a fiction book that... I do want to read. I really did enjoy his autobiography, um, Pass Me the Mic. I thought that was a great biography. I, you know, he does yap a little in that uh, book as well, but not as bad as he is on social media. He's just, I don't know, kind of like talking down to people and let them know that, you know, this is what I think and you should think it too. That's the vibe I get from D. Snyder, and I wish it would change because I love him. I think D. Snyder rules, you know, but damn. The more he talks, the more I scratch my head. And no, Van Halen, Hot for Teacher is nowhere near 
I want to rock. Not even close. There's no little slapstick things there. It's little kids going, holy crap, a stripper. That was awesome. Greatest music video, in my opinion, is Hot for Teacher. The vibe, it captured Van Halen so good. You know, when it, you know, it's black and white. When it glows into color, you hear that riff come in. Pure Van Halen and the way they, the band danced. It was just greatest music video ever. Destroys. We're not going to take it. I want to rock badly. Anyway, that is it for the only news that matters. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Ring the little notification bell. Leave a comment below. And like the video because it's good for the YouTube algorithms. If you do all that, I would appreciate it. And I also want you all to stay frosty. To listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gob. SMF for life. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to you ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for to sail back to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again. <laughs>